Hello, welcome. My name is Knogs, and we're playing the Stanley Parable. I, the reason why I'm playing this is because I wanted to. And although it's kind of an old game, it doesn't really matter. Because I, I, I just want to play it for my own... And for your enjoyment. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh boy! Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Almost 420. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Isn't that what Orders every came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons. buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Are you sure day, about that? Something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Ah, all right. Oh, oh, oh my. Very violent in your walking, I see. Very violent, we can't see your legs, but that's okay. You, you grow into that. But anyways, I wanted to play this game mainly because I don't know very much about it and I wanted to play it for your enjoyment anyway. I'll probably screw things up. I don't really know anything about this game. All I know is that it was it's a choice-based game where if you disobey the narrator, stuff can happen, and if you follow the narrator, stuff happens. But that's all I know. D don't don't judge me, okay? I, I live in a shell. But anyways, let's let's can we Well then! Close the door on ourself. Wait, what? Wait. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Wait, what? what? He had to make a decision. What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had no um, for that. No, no, what? This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing I, to do now, Stanley thought to himself, I, is to wait. Nothing I, will hurt me. Nothing will break I, me. I, I, here I can be happy forever. I did I not. I did not mean that Stanley to happen. I just want to see if I could close myself in. Days. That's all I wanted by, to do. He no longer had the That's all I to wanted tell. to do. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Why can why do now we why do we shift a little bit closer? Guns, like, crawl down. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Okay. So don't close the door on us. All of his co workers were gone. Okay. What could it be? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply yeah. missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't Fourth find a board. trace two, of his two, three, workers. Four three one. I hate Mondays. You and me both, man. You and me both. What's this file? On? File for SCPs. I'm telling a man these people the secrets. I don't know what we can do. Can we do anything with these computers? These phones? We can turn them off. We can be responsible people and turn them off. What's this one say? Le I like work. I just hate my boss. I'm not sure you should have that cup on your desk. 
because if he has that cup in your desk and your boss comes out and sees you with this cup, he's gonna fire your butt and make sure you're homeless. Just saying. I or or she or she. I don't know. We're not gonna assume gender here. Anyways, continuing on. 425, 426, 424, 422, 418. Well, how do we go for? Oh, that's what. That's how. And there. Wait, where's 420? Where's 420? What? Oh, there's 420. I was just blind. Me make sure the math is correct. I hate Mondays. You're not the only one. Just saying. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. I'll go with the one on my left because why not? I want to go to the one on my right, but I don't. I I was told not to, so I have no choice. I I, I had no choice. Okay, you can't make me do something. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I'm getting more concerned. Are you getting more concerned? Are Are you getting more concerned? Because I'm getting concerned. Broom closet. Can we actually open these? No. Oh, okay. Hold on. Stanley stepped Th into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No. I want to look at this pretty wrench. A ratchet. No, that's a ratchet. <laughs> there was nothing here. That's a no ratchet. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Okay, I, 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 I understand that, but I need to point out to my viewers that the that this it was Espa. Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least well, if there was something up. to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Anyways, this is a ratchet. This is not a wrench. I am not are you, dumb. Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Yes. Why? Because Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Because this is what society calls hiding in the closet. I did not intend to do this. You do I just wanted no to look at these. anything in here, right? If I'd said, said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance. But you're narrating it whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. You're narrating it, therefore it has significance. So I'm gonna maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say that oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my you favorite. You stopped Ferb wrong. I hope your friends find this concern. Oh, that's like if you're texting. Oh, okay. I Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Hey! He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Hey! Well, drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Okay. come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Uh, no, I'm, ver I'm still very much moving, and no, I am, no. Just, about just letting you know. <laughs> here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system, and you collapsed on the keyboard. I mean, that could very well like happen. Could the you stop interrupting me? someone nearby, so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number Did of you your realize I have earbuds on? No one will listen to you. of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic First person video game mechanics. I'm pretty sure everyone understands the the first game me mechanics. Video gaming. Like first person so game mechanics and, and uh, narrative tropes. Of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. How can anyone do that when they have headsets on? No one can do that. 
I mean, if someone actually did that, sure, that would be a true possibility of it happening. But still, if you have a headset on, nothing can happen. Ah, second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee so first player. you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Oh, I can, I can do so much more worse. Oh, watch me. Coming to a staircase, watch Stanley me. walked upstairs to his boss's office. Uh... You know what? I don't really... I don't think we want to go upstairs. I think we would want to go downstairs. But I think I, we annoyed the, the narrator enough, so I think we should go and explore up here, because why not? Oh, this is... That is pretty. That's very pretty. Executive bathroom. Can we... No, you can't get in the second bathroom. Dang it, it's for executives only. Yeah, okay, what upstairs? What's all theirs? What's all that? Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Well, Shocked, of course, unraveled, only this Stanley brand. wondered no, in disbelief who orchestrated on. this. What dark secret was being held from me? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's like desk shine? guarded the My terrible stupid? truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss yeah, had their, their an extra secret. Pictures are blurry. Two, That's the problem. Eight, four, five. But wait, of course, wait, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two, okay. Hold on. What if I just left that alone? I actually want to look around memories. This is probably a person's ooh, piano. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input yeah, anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. Okay. Well, the wine, the the glasses looks like they've been filled up with milk. Two eight four five. Are we annoying him again? Uh, okay, what are these items? There's the globe, which... Uh, Forgot, plate. but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself, and oh, Stanley okay. got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> well, I knew I, I had, like, to... Eight. Four, five. <laughs> oh come on! You missed an opportunity, game developers. You missed an opportunity. You could have just been like, uh, the door opens up after a long time waiting, and then the person finally types in the code, and you're like, now you type in the code. Now you type in the code. You could have done that. I mean. We all would have been. We all would have loved it. I mean, now as a sensible person, everybody knows big red buttons pointing down leads to death. Do we want to press it? No. Do we wish to press it? Possibly. Do we have the ADHD of making sure this button gets pressed no matter what color it is? Oh heck yes. Cause you know us. We all have the ADHD and okay. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Well, this is Why the... did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Well, as I was saying, as people with ADHD, we all know that all buttons must be pressed, including a self-destruct button. We all know it has to be done for the sake of all humanity. Stanley oh. walked straight ahead through the large door that read oh. Mind Control Facility. Oh. Oh. But there's also escape. If 
I want to escape? Mind control facility. War has changed. If I go in a mind control facility, I'm easily getting shut down in mind control that's in the mind control facility. Therefore, freeing everybody in the world. Why don't we just do that? Let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Let's get, let's go. That Should we press the button? Should we press the button? The lights rose on an enormous room packed oh with my. television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. No, I didn't he think about that. I was just thinking someone had a really, really large theater room. That it's like a VR thing, you know? If there's like one thing over here, if you turn, there's another thing there. If you turn, there's another detail there. That's how people find those Easter eggs, you know? That's how people find Easter eggs. Okay, let's start reading. Come on. Okay, never mind. We can't read. We, we can't read. We can't jump. We can't grab. We can't do anything. Now we turn the on the camera. Fire. True nature revealed. Wait, two, Each bore the number of two, an sorry, employee two, in the building. Two, Stanley's co-workers. Lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place. Where Where's 427? Nothing. Where's 427? Where's our desk? Ah, oh, there's our desk. Right there. I think. Maybe. I don't know. That looks like our desk. Right. What? Ah, uh, uh, wait. For... This mind control facility. It was too horrible uh, to believe it could be yeah. true. Uh -huh. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this somewhere. time? Was this the only reason he okay, was four twenty seven? There we go, four twenty seven. That his right emotions there. had been manipulated to accept it blindly. There we go. There there's our office, four twenty seven, right there, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. We found our office. Wasn't that hard? No. He refused to believe it. Uh, he couldn't accept it. His own life is. in someone else's control. Six hundred and one. It was unthinkable. I think. Wasn't it? Yeah. Was it even possible? Had he truly I'm not even paying attention. That's that's unhealthy. Blind to the world. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. But there's a big red button there again. There's a big red button! Big red button means big red pushy. Big red pushy means big red activate! Okay, it does not work. But these buttons do. But they're useless. They're useless. They're useless. How? I just hurt my own ears. Okay. My controls idle waiting input. Ah, hi. System. And when power. at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty. His obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Well, we know what we have to do. We have to turn it off. Voila! We turn it off! Voila, ladies and gentlemen, bravo. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. I wouldn't say blackness entirely because there's color, because there's color line there. Yes. Oh no. He had won. He had well, defeated the machine. Unshackled like himself from oh, someone no, else's command. The reason why I say Freedom oh no is because my eyes really away. hate me right now and staring and at very bright even screens. Even as the immense door slowly opened, 
Stanley reflected but I work on how with many bright puzzles screens all the time. Unsolved. So well, had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Huh. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Now that is very interesting. Jim and Locke beat the game. Beat the game? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Be beat the game. We beat the Jim unlocked unachievable. Wait, what? It's unachievable. What? I'm sorry. Extras en enabled, I guess. Back. Quit the menu. Achievements. It's impossible to get this achievement. Okay. Okay. What was the point of that? Why you need to stand up here before the entire duration of Tuesday? Quit the game to start it again. Speed run. No, seriously, we disabled it. You can't jump. Don't play the Stanley Parable for five years. You can't jump. What? I'm confused, but okay. Uh, I, I guess that's the end? I guess? Ah. Uh, um Okay. Let me know what you guys want me to play next. <laughs> if there's more to this game that I'm missing, please let me know. Cause I feel kind of stupid. Or this seemed way too easy. <laughs> let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe. And I'll uh, see you all next time.